Okay, we're back now. And I have run out of read. I am I am at the end here. Also, I want to show you when I continued wrapping my handle, it wasn't centered for me. And so I did unwrap a bit. I added a couple extra wraps. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plain wraps here. And then I did the same on the other side. I put seven plain wraps on the other side. And now I continued with my third pattern and I am running out of reed. So to continue on, I have a new piece here and I'm going to tuck, I'm going to loosen up the last wrapping and tuck this piece in. My new piece, pull this back, my new piece is hanging straight down my basket. I'm going to give it a 45 degree bend. So it's coming towards me. Here's my, my old piece, my little tail. It comes around, it gets a 45 degree bend and it gets pointing straight down the basket this way. So what it looks like, it looks like I have uh, what we'd consider a mitered corner is what it basically looks like. My new piece will wrap around and I'll show you close up here. And just one second, as soon as I get it in there good and tight so it doesn't spring apart on me. Wrap it around here a couple of times. All right, both of those pieces there have 45 degree bends. They're on the inside of the handle. That's where you want to splice. My new piece is tucked up into the weaving here, so it's good and tight. My old piece, mode I had the little tail, is just tucked under these couple of rows right here. So they're good and tight. It's good and tight. And now I'm going to just continue wrapping around my basket and finishing it off. Remember to keep that wrapping butted up tight on each row. Don't overlap. Try not to leave a gap. Just make it good and good and tight. This handle is going to be very sturdy now for what I want to use the basket for. You know, it's got our two thicknesses of our spokes. I put in a filler and then it's got this wrapping. It's going to be really, really good and secure. I've got to wrap one more time to finish. And then as I bring it around to the back side, I want to tuck it in tuck it in to my, uh, to behind my rim. So I use my lashing tool to create a space. It gets kind of tight now sometimes. Let's see here. There. So tuck, pull this through. Gotta fight with it once in a while. All right, and that's tucked down now to the inside of the basket. Again, that will be cut short. But take a look here, kind of straighten things up basket is done. It's ba I mean, basically it's finished here. I need to go back and I'll singe the hairs on the basket to tidy it up a bit. I've got those tails. I've got three tails sticking down in there that need to be trimmed short. I need to sign it and date it. And my basket is ready to be used for harvesting uh, berries, cherries, whatever you whatever you like so i hope you had fun with this if you weave this basket 
let me know. Uh, send me an email, post a comment on my blog, and send a link to where you have uh, woven the basket. Post a picture of it. Uh, I'd like to see it. I'd like to link to you. And um, have fun. I hope you had a good time weaving this with me. Take care and be sure to visit my blog, www.basketmasterweavings.blogspot.com. Bye-bye now.